The most avid readers in the world are young readers. They are also the most honest. So if you are a writer of children's books, you better be good or the kids will let you know that you're not so great. With us today on 207 is a writer from Maine, from Woolwich, Jennifer Richard Jacobson, who is the author of a new book called This Is My Room, No Tigers Allowed, a book for kids. Thanks for coming in. Good to have you here. Oh, it's wonderful to be here. What was the spark of inspiration for this book? A story from my kids' own childhood. Uh, many parents know that around age three and a half, children become afraid of the dark. And when my daughter suddenly didn't want to sleep in her own room any longer, I suggest we make a sign. And the two of us sat down and made the sign that said, no animals, no zombies, no tigers. Uh, and she helped decorate it and we put it up and it worked. She slept through the night. I don't know if that's a great writing technique, but that sounds to me like a brilliant parenting yeah. technique. <laughs> well, well, it only worked with my daughter because when my son turned three and a half, he became afraid of the dark as well. And I said, Eric, I know what to do. We'll make a sign. We did the same thing. We, we put no ghosts, no dinosaurs, no animals. And he just kept looking at me skeptically. And he had no interest in helping with the sign. And then when I finished, he said, Mom, Animals can't read. <laughs> he had you there. Yeah, and that's that's what happens in this book. When you write for children, and you've written books for children, you've written books and, and uh, works for others, you've written adult nonfiction. When you write for children, how do you get into the mindset? How do you how do you sit down and spin a tale that you think is going to appeal to them? I am a former former preschool teacher, first grade teacher, and I just uh, know. I know books at that level. I know what kids respond to. I know that they love chiming in. I love that they love that moment of being scared and then having the release. I, um, so I just go back to those preschool days that I love so much. This story has animals that you were telling me start out menacing and then become adorable. So you had to convey that both in the writing and then the illustrator, Alexandria Neonakis, am I mm -hmm. saying that right? You are. Had to, had to create that with the pictures. How hard was it to achieve that, to create that transition? Ah, it's tricky because I wanted kids to sit on the edge of their seat. I wanted them to be afraid, as we are, of the things that go bump in the night. Uh, but at the same time, this, this book is perfect for young children. I didn't want it to be too scary. So... Uh, there's, um, I think that really I did my best, but Alexandria carried the day because she, when I have the light turn on and the animals hide, the reader can see where the animals are hiding. They can see the lion suddenly trying to crouch, you know, behind the furniture. And it's very cute. And I think it helps a lot with, with uh, setting the right tone. Kids read these books. But kids don't buy the books. Their parents buy the books. Do you have the parents in mind as you're writing? Are you trying to appeal to the parents in some, some way as well? I try to write on both levels so that there's some humor for both the child and the parent and that the parent can relate to the situation. Anyone who's had a child who won't sleep in his or her own bed, I think, will get a kick out of it. Were you happy with the way this came out? Because with children's books, the pictures are important. And you write, but you don't draw, so you don't have control over that. Were you happy with the whole I thing when you saw it? I was thrilled. I don't think anyone could have done a better job than Alexandria. I just think that she got this book and um, really, as I said, a lot had to be carried in the illustration, and she did. She carried the day. Again, the name of it is This Is My Room, No Tiger, uh, Tigers Allowed by Jennifer Richard Jacobs. And Jennifer, thanks for coming in. We appreciate your being here. My if pleasure. You want to see Jennifer, she's going to be appearing at a number of bookstores in Maine doing signings. We've got that list on our website, so you can check that out if you want to see her in person and get a book signed. Stay with us. We're going to be back with more of 207 in just a moment.